We're here at the New York Hall of Science in Makerspace, where as you can see, there's literally hundreds of tools that you can learn how to use and create with. Now, a lot of people make it all the way to adulthood without learning how to use basic household tools. But here at the New York Hall of Science, we have 50 tools that we think every kid should learn to use before they're 12. And to show us how to use just three of them, we're gonna to talk to Satvia here in Makerspace. All right, Satvia, so I know absolutely nothing about these tools, so can you show me some of the tools that we would be using? Sure. Um, we've got pliers, a rasp, and a clamp. Okay. So we can start with the pliers. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll use them to bend some wires, because one of the activities we have is called uh, wires and pliers. Wires uh, and pliers, yeah. I love it. So you're just bending bits of wires together to create abstract objects. How do they work? Uh, so you can grab whichever plier you want. And I like the purple we'll ones. Some wires. And then it's pretty much you're going to use your plier to bend small portions of your wire into shapes. And if you're really uh, creative with the pliers, yeah. you could perhaps make something yeah. like this. Yep, our crossbreeded friend right there. So this was actually made by one of the kids that came along. Wow, fantastic. All right, what's our next tool? Uh, so the next one is the clamp and the rasp because okay. we're going to use them both together to carve or cut into a block of wood. All right, show me how they work. So over here, I've got a clamp already set up so that we're going to attach our piece of wood into here. Can you pass me the wood? There you go. Sweet. So I'm going to put the piece of wood into the vice grip or the clamp and then figure out which way it closes. Mm -hmm. uh, lock it in so that it's tight and then use the rasp to make a cut into it or to shave down some of the wood. What sort of things could you use the clamp and the rasp for? We use it for a couple of the activities. One of them is the one block challenge. It's about taking one piece of wood and turning it into an object or a so thing. Take a piece of wood like this and turn it into something using the tools. Oh wow, that would be such a fun way to spend the weekend. Or if you're really talented, was this something that was also made by one of the students? So what was used to make this? Uh, the rasp and the clamp. What are some of the other tools that are coming up that uh, students might be able to use? Uh, so some of the other tools that we're using could be from like 3D pens to silk screen printing at the end of this whole 50 tools workshop, um, things like a camera. So it's showing them how to use different tools by a certain age, I guess, um, so that you're self-sufficient and you know how these things work. If someone comes along and learns how to use the tool for that week, what do they get? So if you come on the Thursday that we're running the activity, you get a sticker. You also sign your name on our wall. A sticker of the tool? Yep. Just like that. One of these? Yeah. And sign your name on the wall? You sign your name on our 50 tools wall so that if you come back at the end, we're going to do a silk screen workshop to get your final tool sticker, tool badge, mm -hmm. and then you'll get a t-shirt with all of the tools that you've learned. So if you come along on a Thursday, not only do you get to use some of the 50 tools for that week, but you also get a sticker and to sign your name on the wall. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for showing us how the tools work, Savia. No